This boy was bouncing on the grass when he stumbled. His skin was deformed, looking like it was burned. It hurts, it's too hot. Luckily it was just a dream. A boy named Eli, had contracted a strange disease since childhood. Because of that, he always have to live in a sterile environment. Even when he goes out, he must wear protective gear. Because of that, he is always laughed at by everyone. What is that? They cursed him as a monster, and intentionally made him fall. Due to the fall, his protective gear was torn, so his face became redder and redder. Fortunately, his father brought tape, promptly sealed the tear of his protective shirt. That's why he could stop the patchy appearance on his face. In order to cure Eli, his parents had to spend a lot of money. They put their last hope on a doctor. It was an overcast old house. After being sprayed with antiseptic, Eli went to see a doctor, but the eyes of the two nurses made the boy feel scared. You can take your suit off now. The little boy anxiously asked. How many patients have you treated? Quite a few. The doctor did not answer, she simply said. I will make you better. Then she took the boy to visit the house. His parents encouraged him. You can trust Dr. Boy. Eli took off her jacket, and here he would be breathing as usual. And this is the first time since he got sick, he was hugging his mother like that. I've been waiting for this for a long time. That's why Eli believes in this treatment even more. But that night something strange happened. He saw a hint of bubbles outside the window. Frightened, he jumped on the bed to find his mother. The next day, he told the doctor the horror story of last night. The doctor said this was probably due to a side effect of the drug. I've, I've even had some patients hallucinate, it's perfectly... So the first phase of treatment has already begun. But doesn't that look like normal surgery? The nurse measured his height, weight, took pictures of him, and didn't even let him say anything. Eli was tied up on the operating table. The doctor injected the boy with anesthesia, then made a big hole in the boy's leg. Eli in pain fainted. A little while later, a little girl in the garden caught his attention. That girl is not like you, she is energetic and very strong. She even knows magic. She said to him, that doctor was a bit, weird. Eli recalled the horror story last night, he began to suspect the doctor. While walking in the hallway, horror happened again. Eli panicked when she saw a ghost. He ran away in horror, but that ghost kept chasing him. Fortunately, his father ran to him in time. Where did it go? Who? His father assumed that he was hallucinating due to a side effect of the drug. But that night, that horror happened. Outside his window there was a ghost. Behind the door as a hand sticking out. It grabbed Eli's legs and dragged him, and he just thrashed about in fear. Fortunately, his father ran up in time. The doctor gave him a sedative injection. At the same time she also reassured his parents. Just a side effect. Eli's parents asked the doctor to reduce the amount of medicine, but the doctor was very determined. What we're doing here is very hard on Eli's body. And that's why. We need to stay the course of the medication. Eli's gonna get worse before he gets better. The second wave of treatment also took place quickly. Eli was tied up on the operating table again. The nurse gave him some medicine. This causes the skin of his face to be deformed again. Too hot, too hot. But the doctor only said one sentence. What will come will also come. She then started shaving a corner of Eli's hair. Then, holding the electric drill, cut a hole right there. The boy's parents sitting outside were anxious and nervous. May I see him? The doctor refused. Let's wait for the boy to rest for a while. While eating, Eli told his parents what he doubted. Something shifty about her. What? I think she's making me sicker. Oh, she's not Eli. Doctor says you're getting better. Like other mothers and fathers bringing their children here, Eli's parents did not realize that their son's face was growing haggard, and they choose to continue to trust Dr. Horn's treatment. Eli didn't know what to do but tell her everything. I feel this house has a problem. He was waiting for the other girl to laugh at him, but she was not surprised at all. That made Eli believe that the doctor was hiding a secret. That night, the boy sneaked into the doctor's office, and he found the medical records of other girls and boys. No one survived the third treatment. They died very miserably. Eli understood, those ghosts were the souls of these children. They are trying to warn Eli. Knowing the truth, he rushed out to find his parents. Dad, we have to leave. But the boy's father just just calmly gave him a sedative. Why did you do that? Then hand him over to Dr. Horn. She locked him in an iron cage under the warehouse. Being locked up here makes your illness come back again. The boy's mind whirled, then passed out. But strangely, after he woke up, he was unharmed again. Like you've never been sick. This caused him to turn his suspicions over to his own parents. Hearing her son's screams, the mother was not merciless. Ignoring the doctor's objection, she rushed down to the warehouse. Seeing her son collapsed, she hastily opened the door, but being knocked down by Eli, it turns out he feigned fainting. Eli took the chance to run outside, but was arrested again just at the main door. He was taken to the operating room by his father. Eli's mother was knocked unconscious in the warehouse, and saw a pile of bodies after waking up. These are the corpses of the children coming here for treatment. She regretted that she should have believed her son in the first place. She took a knife and threatened the doctor. He was right, she wanted to kill him. She wanted to immediately stop this disgusting surgery. Get back, get back. But the father does not agree, he handed the knife to the doctor. Go on, no, what are you doing? She wanted to kill him. I can save his soul. Eli shouted, what are you doing? 
But strangely enough, the doctor never started to do surgery. She put a scarf around her neck, then pulled out a Bible. Please clean this face, please. Then she splashed something of water on Eli. The boy's flesh boiled and ripped open. This knife will cleanse the soul. But while she held up her knife to stab Eli's chest. Then the knife was blocked in midair. Then the knife changed direction, stabbing her in the chest. Eli burned iron braces, flesh started burning, his eyes turned red. The operating room echoed the screams of nurses and doctors. They wanted to run, but it was too late. Eli has been mutated. The boy seemed to possess a certain superpower. A finger gently lifted the medical doctors and doctors. This is exactly what he always wonders about himself. He asked his mother. Eli lost control, the boy burned all the doctors in the room. Eli forced her mother to tell the truth. Turns out you are not human. Before, his mother and Satan fell in love and gave birth to him. The father now is actually just his stepfather. Satan deceived her. Promise me you wouldn't be like him in my life. The devil always lies. Eli knew the truth, furious. The father saw that he intended to kill the boy, but was blown up by the boy. The mother looked at her son in horror, but he forgave her. After that, the boy burned the whole house. When he turned to leave, he met the mysterious girl again. The little girl tells him, the children are all children of Satan. Even she was, but her father had made a rule. Our father said Satan must not rely on each other to regain freedom. We must rely on ourselves to obtain it. Then the two children started their journey to find Satan.